Hello and welcome to another Billing Metals video. I'm Toby. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, what a fault looks like in a quartz reef. So it's where uh, ground is faulted and shifted and moved across and up in this case. Uh, this is a couple of little clips that we took ages ago. We weren't really intending to do anything with them but um, it's kind of interesting to see. We've since dug that area away and it's not as obvious anymore. So uh, I thought I'd um, put them together and present a short video. So um, have a look and see what you think. I'm just exposing some reef so I can talk about it. There's quartz in it, it doesn't take too much of that, there's good gold in it. Yeah, there's a fault line through. <laughs> there. Shovels coming up. Oh. So this, <coughs> that's reef through there that dips down this foot wall here, whatever that is, 45 degrees or thereabouts. This, this reef here, which is about three or four inches thick, that runs down, oh, deep, deep down underneath me here, this is a foot wall here that's solid slope. This is a fault, this is all that weird clay that you get in fault lines. You can see the fault runs through here and shears this reef off. The rest of that reef will be up above, above us somewhere, it's worn away. This little reef that runs through here is a continuation of this. So that is faulted from there, it's lifted up and pushed across. That edge there joins up with that. And that's faulted out in between. You don't normally get to see them quite like this and not normally near the surface. So it's a good little, uh, good little one to show. 